The Sopographer Diary is back, and this time around, it's not all about me, but instead, my friends and the incredible carp they've been catching over the last few years. There's carp of all shapes, sizes, and some incredible tales to go with them. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Got some real nice footage, had a good time, nice little social, you know, you can't grumble with that at that time of year. This fish went through a rather savage otter attack and you'll notice by looking at its mouth you'll see the damage there around the lips. A lot of the damage on the body is healed which is you know, testament to how incredible these creatures are. Looks alright. Through my camera. It's a good one isn't it? Looks big mate. Forty-three eight. Yeah. Lovely! <laughs> this is my life from the other side of the lens, and these are my friends, some of the best carp you're ever likely to see. Rolling. Right. Uh, where do I start? Okay, so, it has been, oh God, at least a year, I would have thought, since I've last done um, one of my Sopographer diaries. The reason for that, when you're doing regular updates when you're fishing, uh, and you fish the lakes that I do, which are very busy, you can fall into a position quite easily where you're giving the game away a little bit too much. So, in order to prevent doing that, um, I've always been quite secretive with my fishing, and although I like filming the stuff uh, that I'm doing, I made the decision to calm it down. I, I've still filmed everything I've done over the last couple of years, but I just haven't published it. So I've got a lot of stuff in the bag, which is good to have. Um, but I've also been shooting a lot of stuff uh, with my friends. So one thing I always did was go and see my mates when they catch fish, do some pictures for them. And I've still done that. I've still filmed those fish. And I've actually built up quite a big archive of footage. now. Because we're in lockdown, I thought this would be a good time to use this footage. I've been planning to do this for a long time. Um, I didn't know exactly when it was I was going to do it, but I thought this is the perfect opportunity to do so. A um, couple of things to start with. You may think, why am I wearing a woolly hat inside my house? Well, I've got a little cut, or quite a big cut on my head there uh, from Arthur, my little boy. And I've also shaved a big lump out of my hair this side so if you're wondering why I've got a woolly hat on indoors it's just to protect my dignity more than anything else I'm not cold um, the heating is on I might even get a little bit hot so that's that out of the way that's the hat out of the way now I'm gonna rewind quite far like I say it's been a while since I've done anything like this so I'm gonna work my way through the footage and I thought what I'll do is I'll show you the footage and I'll tell you the little story about each one as it happens so the first piece of footage i'm going to click on at the top here it's me mate tom it's a lovely common this now tom was fishing a day's only lake and because i'm only up the road he was fishing there actually in between doing a little bit of painting decorating around the house here so i've got a call one day he's rung me up and he had the most beautiful gray common it wasn't a big fish probably mid 20 or so but a lovely time of year to go to the lake it's a lake i've fished in the past so it was nice to go back down there a little bit of a trip down memory lane and a great opportunity to bump into me mate and like i say have a look at this lovely common the fish was real slate grey in color and actually it's quite a distinctive carp for that lake mainly commons in there they're really nice fish all of them but yeah this one a little bit different to the rest beautiful perfect condition and just the kind of carp i like to go and visit i was fishing myself around that time and this next bit of footage is from uh, the club water that i was fishing but it's not me it's a bit of a random capture the lad i filmed it with is a mate of mine and you'll see him later on in this uh, but a really nice old dinky mirror quite a strange strain of carp to see these days. You don't see them too often, but this lake has got quite a few of them. 
they're lovely fish, big slabs across the back as a proper dink should have. And this is actually a carp I've not caught. I've caught pretty much most of the carp from that lake and that's one I'm yet to catch myself. So hopefully at some point, you'll see this one in my arms as well, not just old Mitchie boys here. This was sort of back in the springtime uh, of last year and around that time, um, I had a couple of guesties on a place called Water Beach. Now, Water Beach is in an army barracks in Cambridgeshire. It's a lovely old forgotten lake, really. It's, uh, it's actually being built on now, which is a terrible shame. It's been built on for housing as a lot of land does fall foul to. But yeah, I was able to go down there with me mate John. He had um, permission to fish there. He's a bit of a, he's a hunter, should we call him that? You know, he does a lot of deer shooting, that sort of thing. And again, you will actually see him later on in this, but he got permission for me to join him down there a couple of trips. Uh, we caught fish the first time, and I think actually um, those fish did feature in some earlier uh, versions of my diary.